Sonnet 67 by William Shakespeare 1564 to 1616 Ah, wherefore with infection should he live, and with his presence grace impiety, that sin by him advantage should achieve, and lace itself with his society? Why should false painting imitate his cheek, and steal dead seeing of his living hue? Why should poor beauty indirectly seek roses of shadow, since his rose is true? Why should he live now nature bankrupt is, beggared of blood to blush through lively veins? For she hath no exchequer now but his, and proud of many lives upon his gain. Oh, him she stores to show what wealth she had in days long since, before these last so bad. So this poem is talking about the way that the world is taking advantage of the beauty of the fair youth. Um, it's talking about, let's see, the previous sonnet was talking about the awful and terrible world that we live in with all sorts of bad things going on and that everything has become perverted. And this sonnet continues with this idea, but it's also saying that all of this uh, evil and all of these bad things are using um, the beauty and purity of the fair youth. Um, to their advantage. Um, his beauty is being used by those who don't have beauty and his uh, truth of character is not being uh, is being used by those who are false and um, the fair youth is being he has to live in a world uh, which is so terrible and so di so disgusting. Um, and Shakespeare also accuses nature of taking advantage or using the fair youth's beauty as well. Um, it says that nature is, uh, is, is using the fair youth uh, as an example of what nature used to be because nature no longer is what it, what it was. So, ah, wherefore with infection should he live? So why should he live in this infected world? Yeah, this is carrying on from uh, Sonnet 66. And with his presence, grace impiety, and his presence in this world, in this evil world that we live in, um, he is gracing impiety. He is um, gi gi giving his presence to things that are corrupt and uh, and evil, that sin by him advantage should achieve. So it's wrong, it's clearly wrong that sin is taking advantage and um, um, is connecting itself with him by, bi by, by being present at the same time. So sin is graced by his presence and it's clearly wrong that sin should be uh, associated with him although it's not fair that sin and evil is um, able to look better by association it's all taking advantage it's taking advantage of their association with 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 the fair youth why should false painting imitate his cheek? So now he's talking about painters. Painters are bad quality. Why should bad paintings imitate his cheek, imitate his beauty, and steal dead seeing of his living hue, and take bad quality pictures of his living hue is colour? 
So what, why should bad painters imitate his beauty and try and steal his beauty with their, the beauty of his colours, the beauty of himself, with their lifeless artwork, uh, with, that, with, their, with, that, with their lifeless colours? Why should poor beauty indirectly seek roses of shadow since his rose is true? Um, so what, what, why should they um, try to, why should uh, poor beauty, bad quality art, indirectly seek roses of shadow since his rose is true? So why should poor art, poor work, n not beautiful pictures, uh, try to copy, seek roses of shadow, try to copy his beautiful rose the rose of him since his rose is true so his inner self is true um, why should pe uh, people be able to copy his um, inner beauty his inner rose since his rose his inner beauty is true um, and this is clearly bad for um, the fair youth bad for the fair youth that he loves um, people are taking advantage of him in different ways why should he live now nature bankrupt is so why should he live in these times these times when nature is bankrupt nature um, ha has no power nature is dying is becoming powerless again this is very this echoes of our time notice that nature personified with the capital m so why should he live now nature bankrupt is nature beggared of blood to blush through lively veins nature which doesn't have the blood the life force to revive the world to instill life and energy and vibrancy into the veins of the world that now exists so it's like nature is tired that nature um, ha is become has a hackneyed view of life and that this is talking about the corruption of man the corruption of human life and nature doesn't have the energy to uh, revive all that for she, nature, hath no exchequer now but his. So the only um, power that nature now has in this world is the fair youth. Exchequer is talking about money, is capital, um, the chancellor of the exchequer, cash. So the, the, the nature has no assets now but this, but him, and proud of many lives upon his gain. And now the um, the power of the youth of the fair youth is where nature draws her her pride, where she uh, lives upon upon the beauty of the the fair youth, because nature has nothing left beautiful except for the fair youth. And here we have the change. Here we have the volta. Oh, him she stores to show what wealth she had in days long since before these so bad and nature nature is looking after the fair youth um, she's keeping the fair youth alive she's keeping him beautiful and safe against the ravages of time perhaps because um, sh uh, the fair youth is the only thing that sh nature has left to show how rich and wealthy in beauty what beauty nature had in the past before these bad terrible days uh, of the present came so mm, nature is proud and keep and keeps the fair youth and has produced the fair youth um, to show that she is still she still uh, exists and how beautiful nature used to be before the bad times came upon us so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now sonnet 67 by william shakespeare